First, I want to point out the incredible Kenuzu I'm feeling right now. Wow. I feel like you duel? have Kenuzu, and it's impressing me. My friend. My bro homie. My bro <laughs> homie. Oh, we're going, we don't need Yay! Let me offer you um, a Barbie. Please. Barbie spoon. It sounds, this is actually fantastic. And also, Can it's I customary in Barbie land to wear. But I don't want to look too good. What's that? It's all about the it's accessories, late, though. Yeah. There is we it, go. Does it work? I've got nothing. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Do Those we know what it is? high alcohol <laughs> content, so just be careful. <laughs> I am going to take these off because I want you to be able to stare into my eyes. Yes. Um, but guys, thank you for taking the time. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, you know, Thanks. I feel like one of the big takeaways for this movie is that like you can't be perfect all the time. In fact, sometimes your flaws and your imperfections are the best, most interesting things about you. What is your favorite flaw or imperfection of the person sitting next to you? I am not prepared for this. Me neither. Right out of the gate. Come on, you're like, our first well, one. First, I want to point out the incredible Kenuzu I'm feeling right now. Wow. I feel like you duel? have Kenuzu. And my it's friend. impressing me. My friend. My bro homie. <laughs> my bro homie. My kin bro. <laughs> oh, uh, that favorite, is boozy. Favorite flaw? It, he's he's she's such a too... Ken, he doesn't have any flaws. No. Margot's flaw is that she has no flaws. <laughs> yeah. And that's, this is right. that's it's not annoying. Fun. It's, yeah. it's kind of annoying. <laughs> well, you, you brought up the, the, the Kennergy in this room, which I do want to address, because there are so many different types of Barbies and Kens over the decades. What type of... Ken, would you say that, that Ryan and I are? And what type of Barbie would you say Margo is, based on who you know her to be as a person? Oof. I would never tell Barbie what Barbie is. That is the first. That's that was a trick rule question. Being a that was a trick question you yeah, yeah, asked, yeah. sir. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like Ken's job is just beach, but Ryan himself mm -hmm. has done, I feel, so many different things in your life. So. Uh, but never beach. But never beach. But never beach. That's why you took it on this role. It's so elusive, you that beach. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> at this point, dude, I have no idea where we're at, man. I'm, I'm like, I'm like half of one of those yeah. Barbie drinks in, and I'm, yeah. I'm good feeling, night, Irene. I am feeling whatever you guys Take put me in to there, the movies. Man. Oh my god, I'm feeling. I do want to talk about the Barbie sleepover because I feel like anyone who went to grade school knows that you can learn a lot about someone over the course of a night, over the course of a sleepover. Mm -hmm. What is the most interesting thing you think your castmates learned about you mm. by the time that sleepover? Was over. I mean, you'd have to ask them that. I don't know what they learnt about me, but what I did learn about some of them is there are two people in the group who are extremely competitive. We played games. We were all in our pajamas having a slumber party, as you do, and uh, we, we were like, let's play games. This will be so fun. And that was the moment when I realized that America and Scott Evans are both extremely competitive, mm. and it was fascinating to watch. It was um, particularly hilarious because America, her pajamas were so cute. She looked kind of like a little like three-year-old, like a toddler, because she's also so teeny tiny. <laughs> but then she was like shouting at all of us to play the games properly and <laughs> the whole thing. I felt, I, I, was, I was so um, impressed. And it's, it takes a sleepover for you to know some to know things that. like that. Can we have a Ken sleepover? Can we do like a, and then, and then we can have our own secrets so we don't tell them? We don't have a place to go as Kens. Well, with that attitude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no house for us That's to. That's true. There's yeah. no. Yeah. There's, Gre there's nowhere Greta for us and to I congregate. Like, you know? We like to joke that the Kens just go inert at, at like sleep yeah. time. They're just like on the beach, staring <laughs> off into the distance. Well, we get in a, you know, get into bed in our dream house. I'm glad yeah. that's funny to you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a weird Hilarious. question, but Kevin Bacon told me one time that whenever he goes to a wedding, he will go to the DJ immediately and tip them to not play Footloose because he doesn't want to be put in that situation where the song plays That's and funny. everyone just like leans forward and looks at him. So I want you to imagine for a moment that you're at a wedding. I never thought about the pressures that would be on Kevin Bacon yes. at a wedding, but that's <laughs> so <laughs> valid. So I was wondering if you could imagine for a moment being at a wedding. You're having a great time. With the Kevin DJ, Bacon. <laughs> Kevin Bacon may or may not is be. Is it Kevin Bacon's I wedding? Sure it's not Kevin Bacon's Kevin wedding. They haven't played Footloose. Okay. But all of a sudden you start hearing. Mm -hmm. And everyone turns to look at you. Right. What do you do in that? Are you prepared for that moment? That moment has already happened to me once. Whoa. Already? What happened? I kind of couldn't believe that I wasn't prepared for it, and I wasn't prepared for it. It was kind of like when everyone sings happy birthday to you on your birthday, and you, you're kind of like, 
I can't sing it because I'm. It's my birthday, but if I, I don't want to look ungrateful, but I'm also deeply uncomfortable right now. <laughs> and you're trying to be a good sport, but does that make you look weird and vain? I don't know. There was no winning. What did you do? I, I, um, I was so mortified. I think I kind of blacked out and came to once the song was over, and I was like, oh, well, that's over. I guess it's I like should, a four and a half minute long I'm gonna brace myself for the next time that happens, so I handle it better. Got you. Fair enough. Guys, they're giving me the wrap. I love you with all my heart. Thank you for making such an incredible film. Thank you for that. And uh, Don't thank drive. You for I will not. <laughs> I'm taking an Uber okay. back. Okay. We're going, we don't need roads.